Mr. Vice Chairman, the Delhi Corporation and the Congress Party, and also the other political parties in the corporation. In the last corporation, as well as in the present one, appointed one committee from the corporation consisting of all the parties, which was to consider and decide what amendments they wanted in the Municipal Corporation Act in the present corporation also a similar committee is there which has been examining the desirability of introducing new legislation to amend and improve the functioning of the present corporation that committee is deciding and considering this issue and its proposals and suggestions will be sent to the home ministry very shortly the home ministry is also very anxious that various amendments should be brought forward and that the act should be improved so as to make the corporation very effective and efficient the home ministry have asked for suggestions and proposals from this committee and the committee is also anxious about it that being the case i think that this bill may be postponed pending the consideration of all the suggestions which will come out not only from this committee but from the home ministry the home ministry themselves have quite a few proposals in view to introduce so as to take care of the various lacuna that are there also this committee of the corporation and the congress party in delhi as well as other political parties in delhi are anxious to make their suggestions all those suggestions from all the parties and this corporation committee have to be examined in detail by the home ministry as well as the other departments concerned and there could be several suggestions by the ministry itself so when all those proposals come then i think the whole bill should be taken up and one complete comprehensive bill should be introduced to take care of all the difficulties shortcomings and defects that there are in the municipal corporation act i may only briefly touch some of the difficulties that we have been facing for a long time i think the ministry is very particular that the power should be kept in the hands of the executive all the chairman are also absolutely helpless so much so that this is a common talk among the members in the corporation among the members in the congress party who have to run some of the show of the 
corporation the chairman cannot even call for a file concerning the particular department of which he is the chairman whether it is the water and sewage board or the transport authority or the medical committee or the health committee or the education committee none of these elected chairman who are the power or the authority to call for a file and examine the papers a conversation was going on among the members concerning this problem as to how to handle the affairs of their departments if they could not look at a file or examine it one suggestion made was that the mayor might call for the file and the chairman might go to his office and look at the file and then the mayor or might return the file i think it is very ridiculous situation where you have all the 80 people sitting in that corporation hall with no powers at all when the bill was passed and the corporation was established i am very sorry to say it was a very nice toy given to the people of delhi with which they might strike their heads over which they might quarrel and fight and deteriorate the whole business it is because they have nothing to do they have no powers then as our experience goes to show the machinery of the government is generally not so cooperative the government are not at all interested in seeing that the corporations function should be successful or efficient or that the corporation should succeed by and large and very unfortunately they rarely want that this whole show should be going well well they just as well want to enjoy the failures of the corporation and laugh over them and even propagate the failures everywhere in public and in private here and there it is very discouraging very bad morale for the administration and the public at large unfortunately it is like that it is a fact to reckon with it is a situation to be faced resolutions have been passed by the corporation for so many years for 3 years 4 years and so on but i think half of the resolutions have not been implemented provision has been made in the budgets for various things 
but the money has not been used the machinery of the corporation is not bothered about it or is not serious enough or concerned about implementing the resolutions passed by the government the resolutions passed by the corporation have certainly to be taken very seriously and implemented faithfully there is no faithful implementation the elected members can do nothing about this matter